Um, all right, so plane management concepting. So uh, we're going to have, uh, let's go ahead and we'll just go big on this. We've got big R for rockets. We've got big T for torps. And then we've got, um, whatever, a big B for bombs. A, you know, RTB, woot. Um, <clears throat> each of these is going to have an amount of a resource, which we could conceptualize as a line. Um, almost like a gas gauge. And the more that you use these, the further that line gets pushed down. So every time you're going to use your rockets, you're going to hack off a piece. It's going to start to go down. And regen is going to slowly, slowly, slowly start ticking it back up again. You use some torpedo planes, you lose some, it starts to go down. And then it's going to slowly, 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 slowly tick up again. So it's almost like you're, you're managing energy gauges here. And the question is, when combined with target selection, so over on the map, you're trying to figure out your CV's over here, the enemy's pushing in a situation, the enemy's over here in a situation. Which one, which one matters? What's the thing that you have to deal with? When you've selected, I need to assist with this. I need to assist with this right here. Well, what options do we have for that? Torpedoes are broadside. You could potentially use the torps to come in and strike from the side, which keeps you away from the AA. Okay, cool, torps are selected. But the question is gonna be, where is your current level of torpedo at? Is it here and you just don't have enough to work with? Or, I mean, is this relatively safe levels or are you all the way down here? If suddenly this tool is too low, okay, well, can I do something with bombs? Can I do something with rockets? But ideally, there are going to be multiple situations where rockets are going to excel, torpedoes are going to excel, bombs are going to excel. And if you put yourself in a situation where, okay, this I can torp. Awesome. So let's look at it this way. Um, you're going to go in and you're going to torp it. You're gonna go in and you're gonna torp it again. You're gonna go in and you're gonna torp it again. Is that okay? If that's the best tool for this situation, then yes. If you're getting the most efficiency out of the use of these torpedo planes in this situation, and that's the best choice that you could ever make, then yes, because you're using your resources as best as possible. However, what this means is when you go all the way down here and you're going to start slowly tick, 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 ticking back up again, slowly over time, you don't have this resource anymore. So if it turns out that because you were able to torp and remove this threat, these have now come forward and this is a situation where, oh man, I wish I had torpedo planes. You're going to get to a point where you just don't have that anymore. Um, you used all that, you know, used it up. So, okay, uh, option B, is there something I can do with bombs? Is there something I can do with rockets? Um, you got to find the best thing that's possible because you effectively, you broke, uh, you broke the tool that you had. Oh my God, just please. You broke the tool that you had. You don't have it anymore. So now you're trying to scrabble around, trying to figure something out. Um, the best way that I tend to describe this is like if this is a screwdriver, this is a hammer, and uh, this is a wrench, each one's going to have a really specific use. And if you use one and use one and use one and break it, well, then suddenly you don't have a hammer anymore. So how do you deal with a problem with a screwdriver and a wrench? Maybe you can use the wrench to try to bash something in. All right, maybe that's a workaround, kind of. Maybe that's a workaround that you can kind of use. Uh, you could try to use your screwdriver as a hammer, sort of, but maybe you break the handle and just feel stupid. Like, it, it comes down to... 
one, you want to leave yourself the most options available, and if you run yourself right out of a resource, you lose an entire option set. But two, you have to get the job done. And if that means that you do that, then you do it. I don't have a better way to describe that because it's tough. That's where it comes down to decision making, which is going to come down to every player is different than every other player. You do the best you can. Yeah, I don't know if I have a better way to phrase that, but hopefully that was useful. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe.